This whole week has just been little tasks, little adventures, and little sweater vests. Hello and welcome to our life. It is the week between Christmas and New Year's. This strange liminal space. And Lee and I are just getting a little cute so we can go in and have a Manhattan date on this very cloudy Thursday afternoon. We realized as we were trying to go to sleep last night that neither of us left the house yesterday, as is the way during this weird time of the year. So we are trying to amend that today. Our plan is to head down to the East Village to check out the book club bar that we've been hearing a little bit about and our favorite vegan pizza place in the city, Double Zero. We are down to the very last of the wedding flowers, which were delivered about two weeks ago. So you know what? I think they've done a very good job. We're gonna miss having them around though. A couple of days ago, we got our pictures back, which is lightning fast, a two week turnaround. But that is what we get for having a buddy do it. And honestly, I have liked the way that our pictures have turned out better than I have in the past. There's a little hack for you. Have a lot of talented queer friends. We'll probably throw up a bunch of those pictures on Instagram soon. So if you don't follow Lee and I, our handles are below. Hello. <laughs> Clark Kent who? <laughs> wow. This is my fancy dancy outfit to go on a little Manhattan date. Wow. Sweater vest. Bloodstones. Vivian Westwood moment. Camel jacket. Mm. Unreal. Look how cute! Now tell us about your baby. Oh, this is uh, also a camel jacket that I got for like three dollars in a warehouse. Um, I've also got my bloodstones from the wedding. A little leather skirt, leopard print turtleneck. I feel like we're giving Gossip Thay at the moment. XOXO, Gossip Thay. <laughs> I've got like a little over an hour before therapy and then we're going to drag some giant parcels to the post office. This brand for days sells these uh, take back bags that you can fill up with old textiles and get store credit. Um, and I have a lot of extra textiles lying around so we're gonna haul these up. It's free shipping, they give you a QR code um, and you get 50 bucks in store credit. Just like old clothes and stuff that I don't wear anymore. A couple of towels, shoes. They take a lot of stuff. So I'll let you know how that process goes, but I'm feeling good about it. In your sweater vest era, I can't. Look at this whole little outfit. I always loved sweater vests, but they were never like cool to wear. And mm -hmm. I feel like now they're finally cool to wear. So now is my time to shine. <laughs> Absolutely. And shine you do. Mm. Mm. And maybe we'll get ourselves a little treat on the way back. For scale, this is... <laughs> This is two of them. And Lee's gonna grab the other one because they're a big CD, aren't you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Doing. I don't know. It looks weird. But we're gonna go on another little adventure and another little sweater vest. We go to Trader Joe's and maybe <laughs> another holiday market. And uh, this cool little like underground food court um, in downtown Brooklyn that looks like something out of a post-apocalyptic movie. Mm. You'll see. More thank you notes. Yeah, lots of tasks. I just this whole week has just been little tasks, little adventures, and little sweater vests. Yep.
made it to New Year's Eve here in Brooklyn after a wonderful week of honeymoon hibernation. I just made some brownies. I'm gonna start it on dinner in just a second, which is going to be a vegan pumpkin mac and cheese. We're just relaxing, going through some records. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a pretty low-key New Year's Eve. Full of pasta. It was very good. Mm, thank you. Two thumbs up. I worked your magic with your eight kinds of hot sauce as usual. Oh yeah. You need the Franks for your vinegar hot sauce and then you need the um, Chipotle Cholula. Yeah, for like the smoky, deeper heat. Mm -hmm. um, so both of those in there. And everything. I think that was the first thing you ever cooked for me was like um, spruced up and box mac and cheese. Box mac and cheese, which yeah. you added a lot of like hot sauce and stuff to, and you were like, here you yeah. go. And I was like, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for this for this gourmet meal. Yeah, you, you take a box yeah. mac and cheese and you make it gourmet. No, listen, no shame in mm. that. You're still contemplating leaving the house for um, some fireworks that happen nearby uh, mm. at midnight, but it is increasingly looking like it is going to be a very low key. New Year's Eve over here. <laughs> and we have this situation going on. 2D on her heating pad. I think that Lee's foot is um, load-bearing in this situation. So I don't think we can leave. We also have this gremlin causing all kinds of mischief. Do you have a banana? <gasps> so vigilant. We might just hang. And we're reading our book. And we're like over halfway through, so now I'm just like, we gotta finish it yeah. and figure out what the f*** is happening. I dig it though. It's like a parallel reality thriller. It's like suspenseful. Suspenseful. Queer. Very queer. Um, and Lee's been reading it out loud to me for the most part, which mm -hmm. I love. You're so good at reading it loud. Thank you. You're welcome. Not a big New Year's resolution kind of guy, but I feel like there are some things I want to get back in the swing of now that our- Traveling. Yeah, traveling for sure. Well, I guess we did travel last year too, but... Well, well keep prioritizing. We? Well, we went to um, the UK this year. True, yeah. Okay. Um, I think California was 2022. Was California the same year as Chile? I think it was. Oh. That's a big year. Yeah. Um, but today, we actually just started scheming about potentially getting some honeymoon planning in the works. We have a scheme. We'll update you as it comes to fruition. Um, it won't happen for another few months, so it'll be a belated honeymoon, but a honeymoon all the same. But yeah, other than continuing to prioritize travel, want to make sure to read a lot more. I do already read a fair bit, but like, it's easy to forget how much happier I am when I have a book to read. Instead of just watching Grey's Anatomy every night. Which we have been, unfortunately, in the habit of. To be fair, we had a lot of embroideries to do, and you kind of need like a mindless... Thing on in the background for embroidering, but now that we're not cranking out a hundred embroideries, we also want to try subscribing to the Criterion channel for a year mm -hmm. and watching more like actual films. Yeah, a lot of measures to try and like <laughs> reverse the like thirty something brain atrophy that I have increasingly been feeling. You like you like feel it. Yeah. You, like feel that like words are getting harder to remember or like sentences are harder to construct and then you're just like oh shit oh no time yeah. to get the criterion channel <laughs> time to renew my library card because this is not this is not how I we're going out yeah. the ripe old age of 33 absolutely not keep investing in the friendships that feel super attuned that we've come into this year keep showing up for those buds chosen family community people be a little less chaotic in my drag life a little more elevated a little more <laughs> intentional toolkit 2.0 Toolkit 2.0, pay me, is my tagline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anything for you? No. <laughs> we were just literally two seconds ago talking about how Lee doesn't do resolutions or reflections, which... Not on demand. No, not on demand, as they come, which I think is really a much more useful way to do goals and resolutions and reflections than, you know, at these arbitrary checkpoints. But since we're here... Those are some things that are top of mind. We know that we have to take our neighbor's dog for a walk in a bit because they have actual New Year's Eve plans. But in the meantime, maybe we can just read and hang out. Yeah. Yeah. 
watch a little bit of the ball dropping nonsense, but mm -hmm. that shit is just getting like so unwatchable. It has been for the past few years, in my opinion. Which fair, like, was it always and we just didn't realize because we were younger? I don't know. I feel like it's gotten worse. I think, I mean, probably everything gets more manic and more sort of like just surreal. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I mean, everything feels surreal right now. Oh, Jeremy just did a good stretch. Oh. <laughs> Wild New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye for now. Good morning and happy 2024. Or 2024, anyway. We're awake, a little past 1 p.m. We're gonna go have a little New Year's Day brunch at one of our local spots. And, very excitingly, we just booked our honeymoon flights for later this year. So, much more to say about that in the coming months. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Ready to go.